Hello everyone, this is Fraser two nine eight back again to give you another uh, semi in TV. <laughs> I didn't catch Damn up. With okay, uh, we recorded one of these already, but I didn't do the I didn't capture the audio, so we're doing it again. Sorry if we feel like sorry. Yeah, if we you... spent four hours doing a really good video. Now we're just gonna <laughs> do a quick ten minute one. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, we're just gonna be talking about shows that interest us. Uh, okay, so anyways, uh, let's go to let's quickly do this. Big order. Uh, people have powers. This is kid who wanted to end the world, and he did. And uh, now these are people who have these powers that uh, uh, can end the world. I actually don't know what the main like what's gonna happen. I think they have to fight each other, or there's an organization. That's about it. Don't care. Book no hero. Sam, you said you were interested in it. Yeah, people, 80% of the world gets superpowers. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. I want to see how that turns out. Yep. Uh, <laughs> next is Stray Dogs, uh, something that we're going to be watching uh, uh, in the seasonal wrap-up. If you don't know what the seasonal wrap-up is, we take two shows, one from me, one from Sam, and we give our, uh, I want to say biased opinions, or just opinions? Are we biased? Are all opinions <laughs> biased? I mean, no, we don't have any stakes in the show. Oh, okay. It would be yeah. different if I made it. Not oh, be biased. Oh yeah, okay. We're just we give our opinions of these shows uh, as a seasonal wrap up. This is what we do. Uh, so next to uh, Stray Dogs, people have supernatural powers. Uh, they get they become a detective agency. They work for the military and the police. And uh, there seems to be a uh, sort of a crime syndicate or an organization that uh, needs to be dealt with, and they're going to do it. And it sounds interesting, so we're going to be watching it. Uh, next up on the list is Flying Witch, which Sam mentioned that it looked like kind of Kiki's... Uh, had some of the themes to Kiki's Delivery Service-ish. Well, it's it's just a, a young witch who... I'm assuming flying by the title, and she has a black witch. That's just witches in general, but the first thing that came to my head was Kiki's Delivery Service. Kiki's Delivery Service, uh, it's... Because I'm a weeb. Comedy slice of life with supernatural elements to it. Uh, I decided that I'm maybe watching it, depending on uh, how many other shows I have on my plate. But it looks something like it looks interesting to me, so I'll be uh, giving that a watch. Uh, secondly, something that I might be watching is the second season of Asterix Wars, as Sam pointed out earlier. Yes, I only watched the first two episodes of the first season, but hopefully, shut the fuck up. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to finish the first season in time for the second season and say it's a complete piece of shit. Uh, next show that I'm definitely going to be watching is the Phoenix Wright anime. Uh, Ace Attorney. Uh, I I just want to hear him say objection pretty much in anime. Sam, what did you say? Oh, I said that when I see him say objection, I'm going to quit the show because that's all I want to say. Instantly quit the I show. I don't care about Phoenix Wright that much. Yeah, I'm going to watch it because I like these detective shows. Uh, next up is the new JoJo. I haven't watched it. Sam hasn't watched it, but Sam said, what, you, you would enjoy it if you did watch it? it I, I know I'm going to enjoy JoJo when I watch it. I okay. just... I haven't. Let's take this cup of tea. Next up is Joker Game. Joker Game is about a agency with one motto that actually is amazing. Don't kill, don't get killed, don't get captured. Uh, and they do missions. So, like, it's like... Like, in wartime, there were, like, spies. So it's kind of like that. So they, they, they conduct missions in domestic and foreign powers. So it seems interesting. I'm going to be watching it. Uh, I don't know if Sam's going to be watching it. Are you going to give it a give it a gander? What, Joker game? Yeah, I'm watching that. And, uh, Sam, can you talk about this Gundam? Which one was the Gundam? Uh, Kido Senshi Gundam. And, like, what you said before. <laughs> oh, it looks... This might be wrong, this is just judging it by the picture, but it looks like one of those shows that's 100% CGI. Yep. Like, not just used for the robots, but used for the characters as well. Yep. That might be wrong. Yeah, I hope it's be. wrong. It might be. But, yeah. And then the next show you actually God, talked. Don't care. And then the next show you talked about it was like uh, Kin Kiz Navir or whatever. Oh, I just mentioned the tile, and that is done by Trigger, so I'm kind of curious. But Studio Trigger has produced yeah. some good shows. I'm gonna maybe watch a show called uh, Kuro Mu Kuro. It's the 15th anniversary for PA Works. Uh, so this is what they brought out. It looks like a mech show, at best. The uh, robot I'm... looks like the one from Appleseed. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it again. The next show I'm definitely going to be watching is Moggy. It's the Sinbad version. It's where uh, we we learn about like Sinbad in his past. Sam hasn't watched Moggy, and uh, as Sam mentioned before about my pronunciation about this, I'm just, I'm just not certain you're saying it right. <laughs> it's not Magi, you Evangelion dubber. It's uh, I pronounce it Moggy. I'm pretty sure it's Moggy. I don't know. The, you pronounced it Maggie for a while. I'm pretty sure which, somebody made a video about the pronunciation great. about this show, and I just forgot it. Uh, next up is a show that looks interesting that we may watch. It's called uh, Mayo. Uh, God, Mayo Iga. 
by a studio I've never heard about. Uh, basically, the synopsis is 30 people get on a bus. Uh, 30 people really kind of have, like, issues. And they go into, like, this deserted place. And that's where they're going to go fix their issues. That's the best description that I can give of the show. It sounds really bad, what I'm saying. But it, honestly, to God, sounds pretty interesting. Sam, you made a point about the characters in the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, 30 people is a big cast. So I'm going to assume they just focus on the six people in the picture. Yep. But having 24 extra characters that are just kind of like cannon fodder, yep. which I'm not the biggest fan of that, but it might they might be okay. All right. Uh, Sam, talk about uh, Panda Peace. What the fuck is... Oh, it's the cooking show. Yeah. Yeah, Bread for Peace. It's cooking, and it's apparently a comedy. Yay. Uh, the next show is uh, Zero Kara... <laughs> Hajimuru Isikai Sakatsu by White Fox. Basically, a guy meets a girl. This girl saves this guy, and they both end up dying, but this guy has uh, powers to rewind time. Sort of like a race right now, right? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, and so now he has to stop that. So it's a drama, fantasy, psychological. Sam, I convinced you to watch this show, did I not? Did you? I think so, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, you you made me think... You made me actually like pay attention to it. Well, I mean... You, I you, just kind of like glanced over it first. You just you complained about like the picture and how it's not actually like justifying the show. That's it. And I read it a while ago. Well, yeah, the picture just has nothing to do with anything in the show. It makes it look like some kind of. It makes it look like can you pick girls up in a dungeon or whatever that show was called. Oh yeah, which I'm gonna watch eventually. <laughs> Have yet to. <laughs> anyway, Sam, talk about the next show beside it. This amazing show. That's going to be a 10 out of 10. Sakamo- uh, Sakamoto Desu Ga? Yeah. That's the question. Uh, it's about a swag dude. <laughs> it's about a swag. Dude's got some swag. Goes around school spreading his swag. 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 That's it. It's a comedy. The show looks pretty swag. Pretty swaggy. Uh, next one is Shonen Maid. Sam, you talk about it because I remember you talked about this one. Shonen Maid? Oh. Uh, dude's mum dies. Dude is a clean freak. Dude uh, has to dress up like maid because he now is a maid for his uncle. Pretty fucked up, but yeah. Uh, next one is uh, <laughs> Twin Star Exorcist. Uh, a pair of twins who are exorcists and they have to go f- uh, help their friend who is in a. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to probably watch it. By Studio Parrot. Simon, you talk about this show. Yeah, that show doesn't look very good. No, t- talk about the next show beside it. Super Lovers? Yeah. <laughs> Got a problem with that? Can you say the one line you said before, please? I'll just read it out like I did before. Yeah. A high school boy named Haru and his mother are living overseas. His mother orders him to take care of and civilize him. Adopted brother Ren, a wild young boy who dislikes talking with other people. While their relationship is adverse, adversarial at first, they grow closer as they begin to understand one another. But fucking. Uh, yeah. I mean, let's be real. That's probably not in the show, but I'm gonna check. That's gonna be one of those shows where I'll probably just check like Rule Thirty Four out of curiosity. <laughs> probably. Uh, then there's something called Sword Guy, Gay or whatever. Uh, gay. Gay. Don't care about it. Uh, then there's the, Guy. Oh, oh, and then there's this one uh, Tanaka Kun wa Itosumo uh, Kade Kaderugi. Uh, basically, guy doesn't want to move because he wants to conserve energy until he meets... Lazy fucker. <laughs> until he meets this girl who's very energetic. That's the laziest <laughs> excuse I've ever heard. Pretty, pretty much. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> pretty much. That is the laziest excuse ever. He meets this girl. Comedy, slice of life. Um, so it's fun. Uh, the next show is what we're going to be watching. It's Terraful Mars Season 2. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, Sam, you had something to say about the show? Uh, I I didn't I really didn't like it like the first season, mm. and on retrospect I was a little bit too harsh on it. Like I said, it was like garbage, but it's not. It's just it's below average, I would say. Okay, I liked it. But man, those cockroaches! <laughs> yeah, those cockroaches. Hopefully, it's uncensored. It's all uncensored. Um, and then the next oh. one is uh Ton Katsu DJ, and you said the main character looked like a really poor drawing of Shinji Akari. Yeah, it looked like if you got an eight-year-old to draw Shinji Akari. Yeah, 
Uh, and put a DJ cap on him for some reason. Some guy's family owns a restaurant and he's a beginner DJ. That's all we can say about it. Winter leftovers. Sam, you can <laughs> mention that. These things have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> <laughs> this is the boy whose family owns a restaurant. Also, he's kind of a DJ. Uh -huh. Winter leftovers. Assassination costume season two. And nothing I care about in TV shorts. In terms of movies, though, hyped Yu-Gi-Oh! It's time to do 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 Sam, tell tell us the plot about you, the new Yu-Gi-Oh movie. I know this is this is pretty. This this isn't some this isn't something we've seen before. This is ingenious. Okay. I can't wait. It looks so. Are you ready for it? Very unique. Are you ready for it? Go, Sam. Uh, Yu-Gi and Kaiba. Uh huh. I'm already on my seat. Oh my God! They do. Get this right, dude. Dude. Everybody watching, you might want to keep this. You might want to keep this a secret. This hasn't Holy been announced. Holy crap! Okay, okay, yeah, very yeah. Hush, hush, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, a blue eyes white dragon might be involved. Oh my Shush. god! Oh my god! I mean, like, when was the last time we saw blue eyes white? Oh my god! That is like, there's only three made in the world, man. Okay, there's only three blue eyes white dragons made in the. Oh my god! How did Kaiba? Oh my god! That was amazing! Holy crap! It used to be four, but then the idiot ripped one up. <laughs> Does that? You're an idiot. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's like I only need three. It's a priceless item. It's like I only need three blue eyes white dragons. I'm like, you have the other one. Fucking sell it. <laughs> it's not like they're gonna I'll use it, it for so anything. It can't be used against me. You own it. It won't be used against you. you no, know, not even that. It's like okay, he needs three blue eyes white dragons to summon blue eyes ultimate dragon. If if God forbid the other guy owns the one blue eyes white dragon, it doesn't matter. You can't do shit with that card. See. One thing that always bothered me, like even as a kid, I didn't get this. If there was only, if you only need three to make ultimate blue eyes white dragon, why would there be four in the first place? Oh no, I fuck don't care. Uh, OVAs, one and specials are under the dog. Uh, remember this little uh, project, little Kickstarter project that was supposed to be somewhat of a movie, but is now a twenty-four minute long episode. That's it. Eh. Um, I'm not gonna say much about it. I know. Uh, Douchebag Chocolate made a video about it or something. Go check that out. Uh, and then Kekai Sensen! I'll probably watch it just because it was uh, crowdfunded. Yeah, I'm maybe. Curious. Maybe. Uh, then Kekai Sensen OVA about the 8th volume of the manga. They they can literally make an ending to this now. Like, a, like an actual ending. Because the 10th manga volume came out. They could do that. So I'm going to be watching that. Sam, you're going to be watching was Kekai the, Sensen? Was the ending of the series not the ending of the manga then? No. I think. I don't know. I actually don't know. It might be. Huh. I just assumed it was. I don't know. It's ten volumes. It's very different. The manga, there's a, sh a lot more blood. And it's very... Because the people who published it were Dark Horse. And I don't know. I don't think if you know them or not. But they published them really like... Oh. Very... Yeah, I know Dark Horse. Yeah, very... I like Dark Horse. They're, they're a very good company. Yes, yes, they are. Uh, shout out to uh, Helsing and Gantz. Thank you, Dark Horse. Shout out to the American comic books they do. <laughs> shout out to... Uh, I think they did the Firefly comic books. Shout, shout out to uh, Deadpool for That's like reinventing uh, comic book movies everywhere. Thank you, Deadpool. Shout out to Deadpool for the first R-rated movie in the world. <laughs> Blade Runner! Blade Runner is not a comic book. Is it? Do you mean just Blade? Oh, is it Blade? Damn. Blade, Blade and Blade Runner are two very different things. <laughs> Blade and Blade Runner too. All right, so uh, the two shows we'll be watching is Stray Dogs and um, Terror for Mars Season 2 as the seasonal wrap-up. Yep. Comment down below uh, what other shows you think we should watch. Again, I have like eight shows. Sam has about almost eight uh, going on for us right now. Uh, I really don't want to make it like fucking jam-packed up in there because like I'm watching 10 shows right now. So I've managed to go from 10 to now 6. So GG, Sam, you're going to have some leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> it might be 5. Oh I've God. already made the thumbnail for the <laughs> podcast, though, so I don't want it to be 5. Okay. But it'll probably end up being 5. <laughs> okay, well, I'm watching like a lot of shows so I can make a top 5 list and not just watch exactly 5, because I think that's just stupid. Like, oh, I watched... <laughs> Here are the top 5 best shows, even though I only watched 5, five shows. Like, what the hell? Um, so yeah, I'm watching quite a bit of watch Dimension W so I don't have to change the thumbnail? <laughs> sure, I'll get on to that. I'll, I might as well. I think it's getting dubbed anyway, so I'll, I'll watch it. I was actually going to check it out anyway, so thanks for the little... It's alright. It's alright, yeah. I'll watch it. 
Uh, so yeah, I've been uh, Fraser two hundred eight. Been Sammy and TV. Uh, comment down below again what we should watch. Like this video if you like what you see. Subscribe if you want to see more. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Sam's channel. Link in the description below where you can also find a podcasts. Many podcasts that me and Sam have done over the many months and more to come. And we shall see you in the next season. Bye, guys. Goodbye again. Fuck you, Sam. Please, for the love of God, tell me you were recording this one. <laughs>